it's day 78 and today you're going to store a place to store your reflections for the next 22 days of code in a nice simple way before we start though i have to show you one extra step because what we can do is actually capture what comes after the slash that's really useful take a look at my code on line six where i've used an app roots definition i've placed a variable in chevrons now that means that it's going to look for anything past the first slash anything will be pulled in as the variable page number i can then use that in my definition and call it as i have in line eight with an f string to place it in there what this entire program does honestly though is just allow you to do this if i go forward slash 55 it'll say this page is 55. if i do forward slash it'll tell me that's the page number it's picking up anything past the forward slash and bringing it into the program. Now, the reason you'll need that is because I want you to be able to go to your website address slash 78 and get your reflections on today. What I want from you for every page for your template is the day number in a title. I would like a link to your REPL code and I would like some text with your reflections. Style it nicely with CSS. But if I go forward slash 79, I should see your reflections on day 79. Forward slash 80, your reflections on day 80. The easiest way to store all of this is in a two-dimensional dictionary or a two-dimensional list that you look up and replace the variables content from that list. This is a bit of a head scratcher. This is a very different way of working. You're gonna need that 2D list or dictionary that stores all the data. You're gonna to need to build a function like this that uses a template to push the data in. Then you should be pretty good. If you're struggling, don't forget, you can go to ask.repit.com in the 100 days section to get help from our community members. There's some very clever, interesting people in the Discord that will help you in the 100 days of code section or I can help you with our live show on every other Wednesday, which is Replit 101 and Coding Helpline, where you can submit your questions live and get answers from me, if I can fix the problem, that is. When you're done, please share it with us by publishing it in the community and use the hashtag Replit 100 Days of Code when you're sharing it on social media. Tomorrow is another crash course. We're going to be dealing with forms in HTML, which is how we get user interaction to happen in web pages.